<clears throat> hey, what up, fellas? This is Carlos here with Backyard Diesels. I'm just gonna do a little tip for you guys before you take it to a mechanic shop or you want to tackle this yourself. Working on a 2014 uh, Cummins. Uh, applies to all of them. They all work the same. Six, seven, five, nines. Uh, feels like an injector. Um, it's mist frying. Truck, truck runs rough. Black smoke. Um, uh, oh, appreciate it, Keith. So, where was I? I'm gonna show you on the basic tools. Uh, what do you, what do you do to run a diagnostic? Got Robert's my cameraman. Um, so. Here it is. We have the valves open, removed. We got the rockers. This is a the uh, is that the camera still on? Yeah. yeah. We got the rockers removed. Leave the um, push rod down in there. It's a little hard because it's back in the in the in the rear. We have special tools to do compression checks and all that. But for this one, we don't need it because we already know it's a valve just by experience. But for you guys, you want to have that tool unless you want to spend some serious bread. So what I did is I removed. Um, the EGR valve that sits here just so we could see or hear if there's air coming out. Why does the screen look like that? Oh, it's the damn sun. Just so we could hear. And then I removed, since this truck has already been deleted, uh, I got this loose. That's where your EGR um, cooler goes. Just so you can hear where the air is coming out of. Remove the injector. Um, if, if you're removing the injector, you know a little bit. I always remember to remove your your retainer for your um, uh, feed tube. Where's it at? Where's the feed tube? What the hell? Where'd I put it? Oh, shit. There you go. The feed tube. I always remember to move that before pulling out your injector. So what I have here, it's just a regular air hose and something you would have at home. Oh damn, big ass truck. And then just a regular air nozzle. And now you could hear that um, it's a collapse valve. We had no blow by, you can check that with the uh, um, cap, oil cap removed. So no blow by, so we know we have compression on the cylinder just by that. No blow by whatsoever. So now I'm gonna put this, it's just a little adapter. You could use like a rag or a whole bunch of duct tape on the nozzle. You could make something, bend it, whatever you need to do. This is, it's not perfect. I don't get a complete seal, but it's good enough. So now we just put it back in the cylinder. I'm gonna do this in English and Spanish. Um, no big thing. So I'm just gonna, where the injector goes, I'm just gonna put it in there. Put just some air in there. And then, now that I'm putting air, I put my hand here, and you can feel the air coming out on the exhaust. So we know that the exhaust valve has collapsed. And then I put my ear over here on the EGR valve on the intake side, and I hear nothing. It's hard for you to hear, but you kind of have to trust me. So we have a collapsed valve. So on this one, we have to remove the head. It's, uh, not major work, but we got to take this head to the machine shop and pretty much do a fully rebuilt heads. Um, shit, valves, guides, um, springs, I mean, you name it, just do the whole damn thing, you don't want to do it again, um, and you wouldn't be able to do this, I can't do it, so we have a local here machine shop that that's all they do is just engine, head rebuilds, cut and surface, resurface, um, on this one, um, I would recommend, just go ahead, this one's been studded, um, I'm gonna put new head studs, APR bolts, and all the full works because there's too much work to redo it again. So, hopefully, this helps you out. Like, subscribe here at Carlos Backyard Diesels. Um, we're here to help to answer your questions, and now I'm gonna transfer over to Spanish. So, bueno, este chavo ya miraron como mirar, como checar una uh, la compresión, no ni tan nada de herramienta especial. Aquí lo que pasó, una válvula se la llevó la chingada. Y lo que único que hicimos no necesitas nada, herramienta especial, nada, el motor echa humo, uh, falla como si fuera un inyector, 
pero no es un inyector, es una válvula que valió. O sea, aquí es cabeza para afuera, mandarla a reparar, válvulas, todo. Aquí no podemos hacer eso ahorita, piensa en el futuro. Ya, reparar completo. Uh, no nomás la pura válvula, para que muchos asegúrense que marquen todo. Si quieren re, uh, reemplazar este, todas las válvulas, los, los este, resortes, los, las guías y que reemplacen todo, muchos nomás reemplazan, las lavan, que queden bien chingón y nada, nada mejor, mejor de una vez completo y bueno eso es todo, ojalá les ayude, por favor suscriban, dejen comentarios en qué les puedo ayudar y eso es todo lo que tenemos para ahora y ya miraron como hice el eche aire al cilindro donde va el inyector acuérdense de sacar muy bien todo uh, lo malo pues que este fue el 6, es el de hasta atrás y una manera también de checar que sabes que no es el inyector Desconecta cualquier cable del inyector con la troca corriendo, no tengan mucho cuidado. Uh, nada más de aflojar un S, ya lo muevan. Si el cilindro no cambia mucho, esa es una manera sin computadora. Si no cambia nada en el motor, pues ya saben que hay un problema allí. O también puede que sea el, el inyector. Pero ya si reemplazan el inyector, pero yo sé que el, el, con la experiencia de esta troca, que no, no es un inyector porque no estaba corriendo bien el. Se escucha la diferencia cuando es una válvula, así como un pinche sonedito, como no sé cómo explicarlo. Pero bueno, ojalá les ayude esto. Y, y ya, pues a ver que en, ojalá alguien su, tengan alguien local que se las pueda reparar. O si ustedes se lo adientan, muchos ¿no? talleres tienen uh, machine shops. Si sí lo puedo hacer, pero mejor prefiero pagar a alguien que lo haga. Pero bueno, muchas gracias a todos. Me despido aquí. Carlos, Becker, Diesels. And say peace, Robert. Bye. <laughs>